ENSA, Final Packet Tracer Skills Assessment, PDSA. A few things to keep in mind while completing this activity. Denote use the browser back button or close or reload any exam windows during the exam. Do not close Packet Tracer when you are done. It will close automatically. Click the Submit Assessment button in the browser window to submit your work. This is the topology. In this Packet Tracer Skills Assessment, you will configure the devices in a small network. You will complete all tasks in Packet Tracer Physical Mode. You will not have access to the logical topology. You will place devices in proper locations and power them on. You will configure router switches and PCs to support IPv4 connectivity for hosts. The routers and switches must be managed securely. You will configure single area OSPF version 2, NAT, and access control lists. You will backup up your working configurations to a TFTP server and upload a working configuration to another device. Different versions of the iOS image are used in switches. You will update a switch to use the latest iOS. Addressing table. Instructions. Okay, open the packet tracer file. I'm using packet tracer 8.0.1, this version 8.0.1. If you see this on logical mode, okay, go to physical, click on physical mode. Click on Home City, click on Corporate Office, click on Main Wiring Closet. Okay, and you will have this scenario and you will work only on this physical mode. Place devices in proper locations and connect them with proper cables. Place devices in proper locations inside the Main Wiring Closet. In the physical mode, place network devices in the following locations. Organize the rack for ease of configurations. Place R1, R2, S1, S2, S3, and S4 from top down with some space between the devices. Drag two 4331 routers, R1 and R2, from the shelf to the rack. Okay, these are the routers 4331, R1, and R2. Drag four switches, S1, S2, S3, and S4, from the shelf to the rack. S1. S2. S3. And that's four.
move PCC to table 1 on the left and place it in the left hand area of the table top. Okay, this is table number 1 on the left and in my case this is PCC. Down here PCC, this PC, and place PCC on the left on table 1. Okay, very good. And move DNS server to table 1 on the left and place it in the right hand area of the tabletop. Okay, this is the server. Place the server on the right of table 1. Move PCA to table 2 on the right and place it in the left hand area of the tabletop. This is PCA and this is table 2. Place PCA on the left. Move PCB to table 2 on the right and place it in the right hand area of the tabletop. This is PCB and place on the right on table number 2. Okay, very good. Make sure all devices are powered on. Power on all devices. Okay, switches and routers are connected automatically on power distribution device and verify if routers are power on. So right click and inspect rear. Power on the device. Now you can see the green indicator. Right click on the another router, inspect rear, power on, very good. Switches, they only need the connection to the power dis distribution device. Go to PCC. Power on, DNS web server, power on, PCA, and PCB. Connect devices according to the network topology. Use the logical topology diagram to connect the devices to the correct ports with correct cables. This is the logical topology. and connect uh, R1 gigabit 001 to S2 gigabit 01. Okay, go to cable backward and select uh, cover straight through cable. In R1 gigabit 001 to S2 gigabit 01. From R1 gigabit 002 to S1 gigabit 01. Another cable. from gigabit 002 to 
So gigabit 01 on S1. Gigabit 002. Okay, um, escape and verify this. Okay, gigabit zero zero two. Okay, is uh, this is a bug on packet tracer escape. Okay, this is a bug on packet tracer. And do the following: click on R one. Remove the the module. Select GLCT and place place again. Okay, I will try again from gigabit zero zero two. Okay, very nice. To gigabit zero one on S one. From S2, FASA to not file to PCB. From S2, FASA to not file to PCB. Here on FASA to not. This is RS232 use fast Ethernet. From S1 fast Ethernet 5 to PCA. From S1 fast Ethernet 5 to PCA. From router R1 gigabit 000 to router R2 gigabit 000. From router R1 gigabit 000 to router R2 gigabit 000. From gigabit 001 on R2 to gigabit 01 on S4. To gigabit 001, gigabit 001 on R2 to gigabit 01 on S4. From gigabit 002 on R2 to gigabit 01 on S3. From gigabit 002 on R2. Okay, it's not connecting to gigabit 002. It's connecting up here. Okay, escape. Escape key. Click on R2. Okay, this is a bug on packet tracer. Remove the module, this module. Select GLCT and place the module again.
Okay, and now gigabit zero zero two to S three gigabit zero one. Okay, very good. It's connected. From fast Ethernet 10 on S4 to PCC. Fast Ethernet 10 on S4 to PCC. And from fast Ethernet 10 on S3 to server. Fast Ethernet 10 on S3 to the server. Configure basic device settings. All configurations are made through a direct console connection. Configure PCs with IPv4 addresses. Use the addressing table. Okay, this is the addressing table. Okay, DNS web server. Go to desktop IP configuration. Twenty seven is two twenty four. The full gateway. Okay, one twenty nine is the default gateway one twenty nine PCA. Twenty nine is two forty eight. The full gateway. PCB twenty four, the full gateway. PCC Default Gateway Okay Configure router R1 and R2. Configure, configure router R1 and R2 with the following. Okay, for example, configure R1. And you can configure R1 from PCA. Use the console cable from RS232 port. Uh, right click on the router, inspect rear. And place on console interface. Okay, go to PCA terminal. Okay.
Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No. Enter. Prevent the router from attempting to resolve incorrectly. Enter at commands as domain names. Enable configure terminal. No IP domain. Lookup. Router name, in this case R1, host name R1, case sensitive, encrypted privilege, accept password. Okay, enable secret Cisco and pass. Console access password, Cisco compass, line console zero, password. Cisco Compass. Okay, double S, uh, Cisco Compass. And don't forget login to enable the password. Exit from line configuration mode. Set the minimum password length to 10 characters. Security passwords mean length. 10. Encrypt clear text passwords. Service password encryption. Okay, service password dash encryption. Okay. Configure an appropriate message of the day banner. Banner message of the day. Notarize access is prohibited. Un authorized access prohibited. Enter. Configure interfaces of routers R1 and R2. Okay. I'm configuring only R1. Next step, I will configure only R2. Configure gigabit 00, 0 01, 0 02. Configure interface gigabit 0, 0, 0, 1, 2. All interfaces should be ready to send and receive traffic. Okay, and not shut down to enable interfaces and go to addressing table. And on R1, configure all these. Interface gigabit 0, 0, 0. IP address. CRD is uh, 252. Now shut down. Gigabit 001. IP address. Now shut down. Gigabit 002. IP address. 29 is 248. No shutdown. Exit from interface configuration mode. Configure SSH. The main name. IP domain dash name ccna dash lab dot com. Create an administrative user, username, admin, secret password, admin one pass. Username, admin, secret password, secret and password, admin one pass. Enter. Set login on BTY lines to use local database. Okay, access. BTY lines, line BTY 0 to 15, all BTY, all BTY lines, and uh, use local database, login local to use the the use the local user and password. Okay. Set BTY lines to accept SSH connections only. Transport input SSH. Okay, exit from line configuration mode and 
use an um, RSA group to keep with a 24 bits modulus. Crypto key generate RSA general dash keys modulus 1024. Enter. Okay, very good. And enable SSH using version 2. Maybe SSH version 2. Also, uh, you can configure some descriptions on interfaces on R1. For example, on R1, gigabit 00 is the connection to R2. Okay, interface gigabit 000, description, connection to R2, gigabit 001, connection to S2, gigabit 002, connection to S1. Okay, exit, and also on line console, you can set login synchronous. Okay, synchronous, exit. Okay, this is an informational item. If there is uh, any informational item to show on the command line interface, your prompt and command line should be moved on a new line and to not interrupt the configuration process. Now, in configure R2 from PCB console cable from RS232 on PCB inspect rear and to on console interface on router R2. Very good. On PCB terminal. Okay. Okay, the same process but on R2. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No. Enable configure terminal. Okay, uh, no IP domain lookup, no IP domain lookup, the host name, case sensitive, encrypted privilege exit password, in a, enable secret, Cisco and pass, console password, Line console zero password Cisco compass login okay. login exit minimum password length security passwords mean length ten encrypt clear text passwords service password dash encryption encryption message of the day banner banner message of the day on authorizing access is prohibited authorized access prohibited interfaces and not shut down on addressing table this interface you be zero zero IP address two fifty two not shut down here we tier one and the shut down 
0.002 with the others no shutdown exit configure SSH domain name p domain dash name ccna-lab.com the user and password username admin secret password secret admin one pass uh, use local database on bty lines line bty from 0 to 15 uh, login local SSH transport input SSH crypto key exit from line configuration mode on global configuration mode crypto key generate RSA general dash keys modulus 1024 enter enable SSH using version 2 AP SSH version 2 okay and you can add the descriptions to the interfaces the fridge will be zero, zero, zero. description connection to uh, R1 you go with zero, zero. You go with zero, zero, 001 connection to S4 and you go with zero, zero, 002 connection to S3 exit and online console Logging synchronous exit okay and log login synchronous to not interrupt the configuration process configure switches as one as two as three and as four host name okay for example from From PCC, configure S1. Okay, use a console cable port RS232 on PCC. Configure S1, uh, inspect rear and console cable. Console interface, very nice access PCC terminal. Okay. Enter. Configure host name. Enable configure terminal. Host name as one. Well. Configure management interface. Switch virtual interface for VLAN one. Set the IPv4 address and active interface. And configure the default gateway. Okay, on um, the addressing table configure. Okay, on interface VLAN 1, you can set the description, management interface, IP address, according to the addressing table, no shutdown, exit, repeat the file with dash gateway okay and change the console cable to s2 okay from okay, uh, inspect rear on s1 on s2 inspect rear and drag the cable from S1 to S2. Okay. On S1, no cable. On S2, console cable is connected from PCC. So access PCC, 
close the terminal, open again, okay. Now enter and host name IP default gateway. Is this enable configure terminal host name the interface belong one description management interface IP address according the addressing table not shut down exit IP default dash gateway okay on S2 inspect rear on S3 inspect rear drag the cable now you are connected to S3 okay close this open again okay and configure this line enter enable configure terminal host name s3 interface vlan1 description management interface ip address 2.9.165.2.2.1.30 27 is 24 shut down exit IP the far from gateway 129 okay be careful okay change the cable now you are connected to S4 Close this, open again. This. Enter, enable, configure, terminal, host name. S4. Interface, VLAN1. And description, management interface. IP address not shut down exit IP default gateway okay be careful with the IP addresses Configure single area OSPF version 2. Configure single area OSPF routing. Configure OSPF routing process. Use process ID 1. Okay, go to R1 and where R1 is connected to, to PCA. Our console of R1 connected to PCA, go to PCA, enter uh, the console password is Cisco Compass, enable the enable password is Cisco MPass, okay, configure terminal, okay, remember you are on R1, process ID 1, router OSPF 1, Manually configure router ID 001 for R1 router dash ID router dash ID 0001 configure network statements for the appropriate networks on R1 and R2. For the purposes of this assessment, enter your network statements in the following order. 
on R1, use this order. Okay, on R1, this is R1. Uh, you can do the following. Uh, do show IP root connected. Okay. Uh, show the directly connected networks and gigabit 002 network. Gigabit 00, gigabit 002 network is this. Gigabit 002, this is the network. Okay, and add this network. 64, 100, 10, 29 with wildcard. Wildcard of 29 is 0, 0, 0, 007. And if it's single area OSPF version 2, you will use area 0, the backbone area, area 0. Enter. And now gigabit 000, zero, zero network is this gigabit 000, zero, zero network network okay when idea 51 100 zero and white card of 30 is three on area zero okay and this is for r2 so do not include gigabit 000, zero, one network Later, you will know why. Okay, do not include this gigabit 001 network. Adjust OSPF configuration, configure the appropriate interfaces to not forward OSPF updates where they are not required. Okay, that means passive interfaces. Um, passive interfaces are on R on R1. Passive interfaces are gigabit 002 and gigabit 001 because these interfaces don't have uh, routers, snakeboards. Okay, passive interface gigabit 001 and gigabit 002. Configure reference band Y. Adjust the reference band Y to one gigabit. Okay, auto cost refer reference band Y. By default is 100 megabits, but now use 1000 megabits, that is one gigabit. Okay, use 1000 megabits. That is one gigabit, one gigabit. Okay, enter. Okay, don't worry about this message. Configure OSPF network as a point to point network. This network is a point to point network on gigabit zero zero on R1. So exit from exit from router configuration mode. That's it. And enter. Interface gigabit 000, zero, zero. IP OSPF network point to point exit. Very good. Configure the hello time for 30 seconds. Okay, by default is 10, 10 seconds, but configure to 30 seconds. Okay, also on gigabit 000. zero, zero. Okay, also on gigabit 000. Remember, you have uh, a router R2 as, as the neighbor. So you can configure the hello time to 30 seconds. Interface gigabit 00. 
maybe OSPF hello interval theory okay exit now configure uh, the same process but now on R2 now on R2 uh, the console of R2 is connected to PCB click on PCB enter console password Cisco compass enable enable password Cisco and pass configure terminal OSPF process router OSPF1 router ID 0002 router router dash ID 0002 network statements for appropriate networks on R2 for the purpose of this assessment under your network statements in the following order okay this is the case of R2 so use to show IP route connected to show only directly connected networks gigabit 002 fields this 209.165.2.2.128 network 2.9.165.2.2.128 Wildcard of 27 is 31. Alias 0. Enter. And gigabit 000. This gigabit 000. Wildcard of 30 is 3. Alias 0. Uh, these are passive interfaces. Passive interface. Gigabit 002 and Gigabit 001. Gigabit 002 and Gigabit 001. Autopost reference band wide. Auto dash cost reference dash band white one thousand for one gigabit. Okay, for one gigabit. Configure OSPF network, so point to point network. Okay, gigabit zero 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 point to point network. Exit from router configuration mode and there to gigabit 000 IP SPF network point to point and don't forget hello time 30 seconds maybe OSPF hello dash interval 30 seconds okay on gigabit 000 exit and wait a moment And now you can see the network adjacency with the another router with router R1 with ID 0001 router R1. That means OSPF is correctly configured. Did not configure this uh, entry on OSPF on the next step you will know why okay and this is the neighbor adjacency adjacency 
between R1 and R2 using OSPF. And for now, you can verify the ping from PCA to web server. Okay, ping from PCA to web server. Click on PCA, close the terminal, open the common prompt, ping the IP address of the web server. This is Success. Repeat. Success. The ping from PCA to PCC will fail. Because the network of PCC not included on the OSPF process. And on router R1, okay, uh, on PCA, remember PCA is connected to the console of R1. Okay. Uh, remember PCA is connected to the console of R1 and close the, uh, close the command prompt terminal, okay. And exit, okay, on, on privilege exit mode on R1, show IP root, and you will have one, two, three directly connected networks and one OSPF network. Okay. Three directly connected networks and one OSPF network. Three directly connected networks, one, two, three, and one OSPF network. Okay, the network of web server. Okay, very nice. And on R2, um, go to PCB that is connected to the console of R2. That's it. Show IP root. Okay, you will have one OSPF network and three directly connected networks. You will have one, two, three directly connected networks on R2 and one OSPF network. Okay, verify that. Once that is verified, go to the next step. Configure access control and NAT. Verify connectivity. PCB cannot visit the web server. PCB cannot visit the web server. And PCC cannot ping PCA. PCC cannot ping PCA. So that's why you will configure NAT. Okay, anyway, verify from PCB ping to web server. From PCB, close the terminal, open command prompt, ping others of web server. This
Okay. This thing should fail. And from PCC, ping PCA. Okay, from PCC, close terminal, open command prompt, ping to PCA. This IP address. Okay, this ping should fail. Okay, and configure NAT, configure static NAT on router R1 with a public IP address 64.100.17 to allow PCB to access the web server. Okay, and uh, go to PCA that is connected to the console of R1 and configure NAT. Okay, it's a static NAT. Okay, configure a static NAT on R1 with a public IP address 64.100.17 to allow PCB to access the web server. Okay, this is PCB. Okay, place it on this network. Okay, this is PCB. And PCB is placed on this network 192.168.1.0. And the IP address for, of PCB is 192.168.1.5. This is the private address of PCB. Private address of PCB is 192.168.15. And now you will assign uh, the public IP address 64.100.17. Okay, remember that 64.100.17. And 64.100.17 is placed on this network. Okay, 641010. Okay. So you will assign an IP address of this network. You will assign an IP address of this network to the PCB. Okay. And you will use NAT to assign an IP address of this network to PCB. And you, and you know that this network is uh, working on the OSPF process. So if PCB will have an IP address of this network, we'll be able to access the web server. Okay, uh, configure terminal. IP not inside source static. What is the private IP address? The IP address of PCB. 192.168.15. And what is the public IP address? The IP address on, on this network. 64.100.17. And that is enough. And don't forget to configure interfaces for NAT. Gigabit 001 is the inside. Okay, and Gigabit 001 will be the inside interface. The inside interface for NAT. Interface Gigabit 001. IP NAT inside. And Gigabit 000 will be the outside interface to reach the server. IP NAT outside. Exit. Okay, and now try the ping from PCB to the web server. Okay, go to PCB 
and ping the web server. Remember, previously, uh, before the NAT configuration, the ping, the ping failed. Okay, failed and ping now is working very well. Ping again. Also, you can access using the web browser. And very good. Configure port address translation path on router R2 to enable some devices on the network attached to the gigabit 001 interface to access the internet. Okay, uh, on R2 for gigabit 001 network, configure path port address translation. Okay, and you have three steps for this. The first step is create NAT pool name at IP NAT1. Okay, go to R2. Remember, R2 is connected of console of PCB. Uh, PCB terminal, okay. You are on enter, password, Cisco, compass, enable, Cisco, and pass. You are on R2, configure terminal. And the name of the NAT pool will be IP NAT1. IP NAT pool IP NAT1. Okay, the the range of IP address is from 140 to 150. To 9 to 9 to 140 to 2 150 and netmask 224 netmask 255 255 255 224 enter create a numbered access list access list one to allow devices with IP others in the range of 172 16.21 through 172.16.215 to access the internet through NAT. Okay, um, access list one. Okay, and this is uh, a standard access list. Permit this range of IP addresses 172.16.2.0 16, and the wildcard is 15. Okay, to permit from 1 to 15, the wildcard, uh, the network is 0 and the wildcard is 15. Okay, and uh, use path to allow the range of the public IP addresses to be shared. Okay, IP not inside source uh, list. Okay, the list is access list number one. Uh, the pool, the pool is IP not one. Okay, K is sensitive, be careful, IP not one. And this is not, but to use pad, use overload, or other translation overload, okay. Enter. Okay, don't forget to configure the the NAT interfaces. Gigabit 001, the inside interface for NAT. IP NAT inside. And gigabit 000 is the uh, outside interface to reach this network. Okay?
remember that you don't you don't need NAT or OSPF to permit the connectivity between PCC and the web server because uh, they are connected to the to the same router so PCC can reach the web server without NAT and without OSPF okay so NAT is necessary on gigabit 000 as the outside interface IP NAT outside enter exit and remember PCC cannot ping PCA but now with PAT configured on R2 PCC can ping PCA and go to PCC before PAT configuration ping fails to PCA and now try again success repeat success configure access control on R1 create a standard access list R1 BTY limit case sensitive okay R1 dash BTY dash limit to allow only PCB access to the R1 BTY lines then apply the access list on an interface okay go to R1 go to PCA that is connected to the console of R1 global configuration mode and create an IP access list standard instructions says standard and this is the name uh, r1-pty-limit okay this is case sensitive okay this r1-pty-limit enter and only allow pcb okay permit host what is the ip address of pcb this may okay, enter okay and the access to the r1 bty lines and apply the access list so apply on the bty lines the okay, exit from access list configuration mode and access bty lines line BTY 0 to 15 access class and use this name R1 BTY limit case sensitive in incoming traffic enter the next okay and test for test try to access from PCA to R1 console you can access from PCA through the gigabit 002 interface on R1 okay this should fail and if you test from PCB the access should be permitted okay but first from PCA click on PCA close the terminal open command prompt and SSH, SSH L is not one, is L. Remember the username and password configured on router. Okay, admin. Username is admin and password admin one pass. Okay, and what is the IP address of gigabit 002 on R1? Is this 
okay and the username is admin and the IP address is this connection refused by the remote host connection refused by the remote host okay and this is expected this is very good because the access list is working and go to PCB go to PCB close the terminal open common prompt try the access uh, SSH option L admin and try the, to access from PCB to gigabit 001 gigabit 001 on router is this IP very nice and password is admin one pass okay the banner and you are on R1 very nice it's working very well and now configure access control list on S1 to write a standard access list S1 BTY limit to allow only PCB access to the S1 BTY lines then apply the access list okay basically is Similar configuration um, PCC is connected to the console of S4 Okay, inspect rear and go to S1 inspect rear and change the console cable from S4 to S1 drag the cable now you are connected as one okay on PCC click close the common prompt open terminal okay enter enable configure terminal standard access list IP access list standard S1 BTY limit enter permit only PCB remember the IP address of PCB 15 permit host 182.168.15 exit and apply on BTY lines remember should be uh, applied on BTY lines line BTY 0 to 15 uh, access class as one BTY limit enter oh sorry and uh, don't forget in incoming traffic okay very nice exit okay uh, and and uh, show running config on S1 and you can see uh, this is the IP address on interface belong one, the default gateway, the access list, and uh, the access list is placed on the BTY lines, and logging is activating the, the access, okay? And try to test from PCB try to use Telnet to access the IP address of switch S1 okay S1 is this IP address 64.100.12 okay enter and now it's closed closed by the 48 host go to PCC okay this is S1 and you need to enable a password on the BTY lines okay to test this
Great configure terminal line BTY from 0 to 15. Password uh, Cisco BTY pass, for example. Enter and login to be sure. Exit and go to PCB and try to access using Telnet again. Now, password is required. Cisco BTY pass. Okay, very nice. Exit and try to um, and try to uh, try to access from PCA to S1. Okay, go to PCA. Telnet and use the IP address of S1. Okay, this is the IP address of S1. Enter. Okay, and uh, will not connect because the access list is working very well. Okay. Enter, enter. Okay, wait a moment and connection timeout. Remote host not responding. Okay, this is very good. The access list is working very well and configure access control on R2. Okay, go to R2, R2, go to PCB, close command prompt, open terminal. Okay, enter and password uh, Cisco Compass, enable Cisco M Pass, configure terminal. Okay, this is standard access list, IP access list R2 BTY limit. Okay, IP access list standard, don't forget, uh, R2 BTY limit, K is sensitive, enter. Only PCC access to the R2 BTY lines. Okay, only PCC permit, host, what is the IP address of PCC? Is this. Okay, 172, 16, 25, enter. Exit. And apply the access list. Okay, on BTY lines. Line BTY 0 to 15. Uh, access class. The name of the access list. Okay, sensitive incoming traffic. Exit. Okay, and test from PCC. Close the terminal, open command prompt. Try to access using SSH. Option L is not one, is L. Okay, remember the the username is admin, password admin one pass. And you are on PCC, try to access using this interface, gigabit 001. On R2, gigabit 001. Okay. Admin, the username and the IP address. Great okay. password admin one pass. Okay, the banner, you are on R2, very nice. Exit. Create an standard access list R2 security to restrict access from internet. Okay, on R2, 
go to PCB. You are on R2 configuration, enter and IP access list extended R2 security. Okay, sensitive, enter. Allow FTP connections from the PCB public IP address to the web DNS server. Okay, allow FTP connections. Okay, it's permit. Allow. Okay, FTP connections. FTP uses TCP protocol. TCP protocol. From PCB public IP address. From PCB public IP address is uh, host. What is the public IP address of PCB? Remember, this is the private address of PCB, but this, this was the public IP address, 64117. Okay. The extended access list the source is this network on PCB and the destination is this network on the DNS web server. Okay, and the public IP address of PCB, remember, is this 641017. And the destination is the web server. this IP address. Host 209.165.202.131 And don't forget the FTP connection equal to FTP is port uh, 21 okay it's 21 port or use FTP 21 or FTP enter okay this is very good now deny all other FTP connections from the internet to the R2 lands Okay, deny FTP connections. FTP uses uh, TCP protocol. TCP from internet. Internet is any. From any, the source is any to the R2 lands. But um, says all other FTP connections and I prefer to use from any source to any destination and FTP connections equal to 21 or FTP enter deny all SSH connections from internet Okay, then I SSH uses TCP protocol. Okay, all connections from internet. Internet is the source um, from any. All the destination is also any because it's not specified. So the destination is any because the destination is not specified and equal to uh, port and use port 22 for SSH, enter. Allow all other types of connections from the internet. So this is permit IP from any to any, enter. Okay, your access control list should consist of four statements. Okay, 
these four statements. Very good. Apply the access list. And where to apply the access list? Okay, for the first statement, this. Uh, PCB is the source. This is the source. And the destination is the server. This is the destination. From this, another statement the source is Internet. Okay, this uh, green section, Internet. And the destination are the lungs of R2. Okay, and this another entry. The source is internet, is this. And the destination are the R2 and the lungs. And finally, permit any other. So the source is in green, this is the source, and destination in orange, this is the destination. So you can use uh, an arrow, okay, and here you can see the access list should be placed on gigabit 000 on R2 incoming traffic. Incoming traffic on gigabit 000 on R2. Okay, exit from access list configuration mode, interface gigabit 000, IP access dash group, R2 security. Incoming traffic. Enter. Exit. Okay, uh, to test this, um, PCB will be able to access the server using FTP. Okay, uh, PCB, click here. Close the terminal. Open the command prompt, FTP, the IP address of the server, this, go 9165-202-1031, okay, the username is Cisco, the password is Cisco, you are on FTP, very nice, exit or quit okay very good and and go to terminal and deny any other ftp connection so for example from pca try to access the server using FTP and will fail PCA FTP the IP address of the server is this 209.165.202.131 trying to connect Error opening timeout. Disconnecting. Very nice. And finally, on um, deny any uh, connection using SSH. Okay, for example, from PCA or PCB, try to access R2 using SSH. Or for from PCA, SSH, option L, 
admin the gigabit zero zero on R2 this okay Okay, we will fail. Connection timeout. Remote host not responding as expected. So this is very good. The access list is working very well. And finally, permit IP from any to any. So any other protocol will work from PCA. Try to access the server. Okay, this is the IP address of the server, 209.165.202.131. Try to access using the web browser. Go. Success. Very good. The access list is the extended. The extended access list is working very good. And uh, configure access control on S3. Standard access list to only allow PCC to access the S3 BDY line. Apply the access list. Okay, and PCC, PCC is, is connected to the console of S1. Change the cable to S3. Inspect rear on S1, inspect rear on S3, and drag the cable to change the connection from S1 to S3. And now the connection is from PCC to S3. Close the command prompt, open terminal. Okay. Now you are on enter on S3 configuration. Enable configure terminal. And the instruction says. Standard access list, name it, IP access list S3 BTY limit. Okay, don't forget, it's standard IP access list standard with name S3 BTY limit. Be careful with the name, okay, sensitive. Enter permit PCC. IP address of PCC is this. Permit host from 72.16.25. Okay, uh, exit. And apply the access list on BTY line. Line BTY 0 to 15. Mm, access class. And use this name. Okay, the same name. And uh, space incoming traffic. Enter. Um, and for test, only for test, uh, apply the password for telnet and login. Password, for example, Cisco BTY pass. Login. Okay, and, and test the access list, access from PCC to S3. Okay, only PCC is permitted. Okay, click on PCC. Close terminal. Open command prompt. And try to use Telnet to access... to access S3. And S3 IP address is this. 209.165.202.130. Password Cisco BTY pass. Okay, very good. Exit. Perform configuration backup and iOS update. Use TFTP server to backup the device configurations. Backup the running configurations of R1, S1, S2 to the TFTP server on PCB. Okay. This is incorrect, should be uh, 
on the server. Okay, back up the running configurations of R1, S1, and S2 to the TFTP server. Okay. Okay, R1, S1, S2 configurations to the server. R1 is connected to the console of PCA. Okay, PCA and terminal. Okay, and enter password Cisco Compass. Enable Cisco and pass. Copy from running config to the FTP server. Column, enter address or name of remote host the address of the server this destination file name look at the instructions name configuration files R1 run config. Okay. R1 run config case sensitive. Enter. Okay. Okay, from S1. Okay, this is S1. I have the... I connected the console to S3. Okay, from S3, change the console to S1. Okay, and from PCC, access terminal, okay. Enter, enable, copy running config to the FTP column enter the address two nine one sixty five two two one zero D one the name S1 run config case sensitive S1 run config and case sensitive enter okay very good finally from S2 change the console from S1 to S2 okay now you are connected from PCC to S2 close open terminal enter enable copy running config to TFTP column enter IP address 209.165.202.131 The name use this as to run config Okay, sensitive capital C enter Error opening. Okay, test the ping from S2 to the server. 209.165.202.131. Okay, ping fails because 
this network, the network of PCB and S2, is not included on OSPF process. And previously, you configured PCB with a static NAT with an IP address on this network to permit the connectivity with the server. So that's why S2 is not able to connect the server. On R1, you can create uh, another static entry to permit the connectivity between S2 and the server. So you can do the following. Uh, remember, R1 console is connected to PCA. Okay, enter. Cisco Compass enabled Cisco M Pass show running config. Okay, this is the static NAT entry that will translate the private IPv4 address of PCB to this IP address. So you can create another entry for S2. Uh, configure terminal IP NAT inside source static the IP address the IP address of S2 is uh, 1 2 okay and you can choose another available address 7 is in use and use for example 6 enter and go to uh, S S2 and from PCC S2 and ping the server success and copy running config to TFTP server address of the remote host remember is this Two hundred nine one sixty five two two one thirty one. The name of the file. Use this S two run config. S two run config case sensitive. Success. Okay. And now click on the server services TFTP. And you, you can verify the three files. Now, use the FTP server update, upgrade iOS software, ob obtain a newer iOS image from the TFTP service on the web DNS server. The newer version of Switch iOS is C2960, LAN base K9, MC 152. SE4.bin, okay, the version 15.0. Configure S3. Okay, first access uh, to S3. Change the console from S1 to S3. Now, PCC is connected to S3 using console. Close terminal, open again, okay. Enter, enable, and uh, copy from TFTP server column to flash column. Okay, enter. Okay, address, the server address. So now Source file name. Okay, remember this name. Lambda is K9, 15.0, SE4. Go to server. Um, TFTP. Is this? 
lamb by sky nine mc this okay so see 2960 lamb base k9 mc and two let's e4 that b okay be careful enter destination file name use the default enter okay very good okay verify show flash okay you will have two images Configure S3 to use this newer version iOS after reloading. Configure terminal boot boot system flash and use this image. Enter. Okay, and uh, use a column. Enter. Okay, very good. And copy running config to start up config, enter, enter, reload, enter, enter. Enter. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, and go to physical mode on, on Packet Tracer version 801. Go to physical mode, click on home, CD and click on corporate office. Click on main wiring closet. Add, uh, add a rack. Create new rack. Uh, create new table. Uh, new table again. Uh, uh, inventory shelf. And new cable pegboard. Add uh, four switches twenty nine sixty. One, two, three, four. Two routers forty three thirty one. One. Two, and some cables, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cables. Okay, copper straight through the green cable. And console cables, the light blue cable. Okay, go to logical mode and set the names as one, as two, as three, 
as for R1, R2, okay, and on physical mode you can see the names and place the PCs and servers Need, uh, three PCs, one server three PCs, one two three and one server okay and set the names um, logical mode PCA, PCB, PCC PCA PCB PCC and DNS web server Okay Now you can see the names A, B, C, and DNS web server. Okay, finally, finally, you need to place the interfaces you need to insert the the gigabit module on this space on gigabit 002 click here go to physical physical modes and use this interface GLCT and place this module to this interface gigabit 002 the same process on the another router GLCT okay very good